Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing good. This is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. As in our previous videos, we have already discussed the revolution of bio-IT and big data biology scope. As many of the life science, biotech and biomedical researchers and professionals need to handle a huge amount of data these days, data revolution is happening in every sector. So, upskilling the bioinformatics and data analysis expertise is the need of the Many of the researchers and students often ask me whether biologists require coding and programming, why they need to learn these programming skills, and what is the simple roadmap to learn these programming and coding at foundation level. Not all the biologists need to learn coding and programming. Though we are in a time of data revolution, so if you upskill in these sectors, it definitely gonna help you in quick processing of your scientific data and efficient handling of large biological data related to your research project. This is definitely going to improve your research data qualities and increase your probability of getting high salary industrial job as having basic programming expertise will make you more effective in the data driven fields the another question which student ask is that which programming language is best for biologists i would suggest you to start with python actually this is one of the favorite choice among all the bioinformatician and bio it skilled people there are multiple reasons because of uh, which python is the best choice python is beginner friendly it's widely used in bioinformatics and scientific community it is well built for the complex biological problem solving additionally it is also open source so many people can easily assess that python is extensively used for data analysis and development of tools it is also compatible with the several existing bioinformatics tools. The major application of Python and programming is also in the genomic and omics sector. Due to NGS and sequencing revolution and the advancement of precision diagnostic and personalized medicine, many biologists and bio-IT people should start learning programming and coding. Moreover, Python is also used in healthcare data and health informatics sectors. If you have noticed, most of the universities and institutes doesn't offer these right skills training and expertise to handle such amount of used data which is currently required in the bio-IT industry and in the data sector. But there are several platforms where you can start learning these things at the foundation level. You can either approach us. We also provide trainings in the programming at the foundation level and also at the advanced level. You can also see for the online training both free version and paid version. Some of the frequent programming language which are often used in bio-IT sectors are following. The most common one are Python, Java, Perl, R, Ruby, MATLAB. But for the beginner, I would suggest you to start learning with the Python and R if you don't want to handle data manually or you may require automation in your scientific work or maybe developing program to analyze your data faster in efficient, accurate and quicker way. If you are at the beginner level and if you want to learn programming and coding, you just require laptop, internet, willing to start and learn some practices and also a proper roadmap and plan. You may start with the understanding the computer architecture, scripting, coding, programming and then individual project handling along with your group project handling. Programming is not very hard to learn actually. It's just like learning any other skill. You can start learning these things at any stages whether you are from biology sector, basic biology, life sciences or biotech. The pace and the passion to practice and learn would actually accelerate your learning. I hope you're going to explore these areas further and start learning programming sooner. I hope you have liked this session also. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavors. Thank